What do you think of this? Don't you love it? Hello, YouTube. So, I am going to start off this video by showing you footage of the actual storage unit and then later in this video I am going to show you individual pieces from that storage unit as far as the kind of finds there are in it, um, clothing wise, shoes, purses, and um, yeah, so let's hit it and I hope you like this video. Bye. Hello YouTube, it's me, it's me, it's Diana D, and thank you for being back with me. Um, I showed you uh, in my last video a palette of shoes, and we are not going to go through those, but um, I had also mentioned that I bought a storage unit, and all of this was part of the storage unit, and this here is all this clothing I have not touched. Um, I did pull out 17 pairs of shoes, which I have listed online from this unit. And we are going to start delving into this and see what kind of stuff we have. Oh, I, I, I do have a little short video I could put in here um, when I, we first picked up the storage unit. So I've got all that footage. Okay. And um, yeah, so stay tuned and you're going to see what kind of stuff we've got. And I will be showing you that now. So hang tight and uh, let's go for it. Okay, so the first thing I pulled was this jean jacket, and this says Christopher and Banks. It's an extra large. I don't know how well jean jackets go for right now, but I mean, it's not bad. Um, Can you tell them how much we got the unit for? I said 250. Oh, okay. So that is one thing. I'm just gonna pile it over here on the table because I have the room over here. This I love. I actually saw this. And this is a David's Bridal. And it is a purple or aubergine, if you want to get technical. It is a one shoulder um, you know, dressy dress. And it's very pretty. I have no idea if I could get into it post COVID or in the middle of the COVID. Um, you know, everybody's gained weight. So. Yeah, we'll see about that later. But this is really pretty. Um, let's see. What do we got here? This looks like a Liz Claiborne Ooh. sheath dress, which needs to be ironed. But we always do, um, you know, dry cleaning anyway on our items. So, and this is a size 14. So, this is a... Um, it looks like a good stuff for a big yard sale. Yeah, well, we are having a yard sale in two weeks because we are overloaded at this point. And, uh, yeah, we have so much stuff to get rid of that's not listed. But it takes a lot of time and a lot of patience. And my wonderful husband um, lists all this stuff, and he does what he can throughout the day. And um, what is this? Yeah, so since I work, all right, this doesn't even have a tag. No name. So, but it's kind of cute. It's it's like a sweatshirt material, a um, little bit lighter. It's not as thick. And it's got like C, well, this is a gecko of some sort, but it's kind of cute. I mean, so I can't tell you what size this is. And I can't tell you who made it, but okay. There's always things like that, you know, it's just no names. Um, we have got a Karen Kane. 
t-shirt, which is actually inside out, and it's ombre, which is, you know, the dip dye. And is there something on the front? What is that? Is that a tree? Look like palm, <laughs> palm trees. Oh, that looks like a night shirt. That would be kind of cool. Okay. What's this great thing over here? This is a sweater dress. Not that anybody is really interested in that kind of stuff right now, but it is a Bianco in blue. Never heard of it. I think it might be from Urban Outfitters. Maybe. I'm not real sure, but... Or even anthropology. I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. So, this is a sweater dress. And, obviously, uh, with North Carolina weather today, it was 93. So, I would not be even remotely thinking about a sweater. And it was brutal. But, luckily, we're supposed to have rain tonight. So, this looks like a cool... Um, hey, it's got a tag, baby. It's got a tag on it. It's still got a tag on it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is footsie folds, footsie folds, accessories. But this is like if you're going out to dinner and you do not want to wear coat and you just, you know, head out the door. Or, you know, if you're just running the store. But it's, it's not real, it's not fur, it's fake fur. And it's super soft. So, um, yeah, this is new with tags, so. No price tag, just the name. And this is a, probably a one size, because I don't think they really put sizes. No, there's no size on this. Okay. No idea who this is. It's cute. Liz Claiborne. Another, well, this is a sleeveless sweater, but it is cute, actually. Well, some good stuff so far. So far. You picked a good one. I try. I mean, you don't always, you don't always uh, make good uh, decisions when it comes to storage units. But, you know, sometimes you really get things that are great and pay off. Um, and like, we thought for this one, I mean, 250 bucks with all the stuff that was in it. And we, like she said, we already uh, listed 17 pair of shoes on uh, eBay. Um, the stuff we could put in the yard sale, I mean, that would definitely be a profit, right, for us? Yeah, absolutely. Um, this says Sunshine Starshine. Hmm. Um, and I cannot read a size tag, but I'm guessing this because the other movie, stuff... This uh, camera stuff stinks. ...was probably, um... Our, uh, tripod. ...died. So he has to hold the camera up by hand. So. <laughs> okay, well, I won't, I won't do a lot, a, a ton of this. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. There goes a button, so something in here is new. These are JH Collectibles, the size 14. See, I like I said, that one dress was a 14, and the ones that do not have sizes, I'm assuming, are also in the 14 range. So these are really cute, very pretty pattern for summer. Okay, it's like an argyle belt. No idea who makes it. Coles. Oh well, tag still on it. Um, it's an extra large and retailed for eighteen dollars. So it was just folded up. Hey, yeah. what's that funny color material right there? See that? This, yeah, what's that? It looks like a jacket. This is a Dana Buckman woman. Who's Dana Buckman? Very good, um, just, um, you know, she's a fashion designer. This is a size 18, but Dana Buckman is very nice. And uh, this is a Tweety kind of, um, you know, jacket. The edges are velvet-ish with, you know, they're almost like a textured velvet. But yeah, a very pretty jacket. Okay. Ooh, what's this? This is a skirt. Sorry, I didn't mean to hold it so close to the camera. It is a Karen Kane 14. If you see anything that I'm holding up and you are a size 14, please leave a comment and we will talk. We can easily yeah. list it, it or right to you. yeah, send it right out for you. We typically send anything we have online Ooh, out within the day. Nice. This is a Talbot. And this is like a silky jacket. It oh, wow. Is 
So Dana Buckman, Claiborne, Talbot. There's some good stuff in there. Huh? This one smells good. It smells like somebody's perfume, honestly. Well, some female's perfume, I should say. But yeah, this is um, an 18 woman. So, uh, again. And this has got these cool little you know, zippers on the sleeves. And it's almost like the, um, the polka dots on this are iridescent. So it's black, iridescent looking, really pretty, silky. Okay, or nylon-y, I should say. What is this? We have got- It's a weird color. New Directions. I, I don't know if that's a Target or a Walmart, but this is a mustard color. Kind of like a very light jean jacket. It is not heavy whatsoever. What size is it? Uh, it is large. Really? Doesn't yeah. look like it. I know. Could be a large in teenagers or, you know, teens. So, this is cute, though. I mean, if you like yellow, I can't wear yellow. I think it looks kind of funny on me. <laughs> so, let's go with... Ooh, what's that? What's that? Uh -oh. Dorothy Beast. This? Gosh. Who that is? Very lightweight, cool. lime green, very pretty. I wish I could wear colors, but I tend to stick with blacks and neutrals. But it's got the coolest Hence pattern. That's the reason you got that red dressel. I know. <laughs> well, it was like I said, 93 degrees. When I got home, I had to get rid of it. Get rid of my, oh, I thought money was in here. This is a Tahari purse. I had to under, I had to change for my work clothes is what I'm saying. So I threw on this red. So obviously I don't always wear black. Brand new. Look at this. Stuffing still in it. Tahari. It is a Tahari. T-A-H-A-R-I. And it's silver and it looks in perfect condition. I don't see, you know, the tag could be, the price tag could be down in here. Oh, that doesn't work. Yeah. We're looking for money. I'm not looking for money. I'm just trying to see You're if the price tag was in it. In the, in but it looks brand new, is. and most people do not. She always goes right for the stuff that might contain money in storage I do units. not. Look at this. I don't like it. I don't like this one. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I like it. Really? You like that? Yeah. That's neat. See, with all the stuffing in it, it's not quite as as saggy as it should be, so it, it tends to crunch down when you take all the <laughs> tissue out of it. So this is, it's leather, I can tell, and it looks like Banana Republic. No, I'm sorry, B. Mikowski. Because uh, all his bags tend to have the leopard print, or the, I don't know, what is it, leopard? Yeah. So this is a white leather. It has got um, magnets to close it, and it is a silver well, no, goldish and white. Very pretty for being a um, summer bag because you know you don't want to wear dark colors in the summer. Ooh, I kind of follow the bag. You're, you're Sorry. So you got these little pockets here and this beautiful hardware. And these little side pockets and leather poles. Hmm. Yeah. And plenty of room on the inside. One, two, three compartments. And plenty of zipper pouches and regular cell phone pouches. Like I said, B. Mikowski. Okay. So, very nice purse. Not sure who this is. Okay, this is a mixed metal colored purse. And it is, you know, the silver, the gold, and the rose gold. Braided. Who is this? I don't see any name. This looks like a yard sale item, though. No, no name. Sadly. But um, definitely a yard sale item because I see something on the lining. So, what about that B. Nicklick purse or whatever it was? B. What? The white one you just had. Is that a B. yard sale? B. Mikowski. No. B. Licklick. What? Are you speaking Filipino or something? Okay, this is a Nine West bag. And I'm going to shine up this silverware hardware, but um, very nice. It's probably faux leather, which is fine. 
and looks like it might be a very roomy bag. Actually, it is missing the little zipper pull, but you can easily clip on, you know, a keychain, like a, just a pull. One of those fuzzy pom-poms would be cool. So this is, yeah, a Nine West. I'm trying to tell if it's leather, see if it's leather. Probably not. No, made made materials, made in China. Okay, That's so. Right. Go me, go me. <laughs> Very pretty. Nine West, a lot, you know, the price for a lot of their stuff's man made materials, but the prices are just kind of a okay, very high. Okay, this is broke. It, the, oh, this wow. is a set. Okay, so obviously, I see the hanger work in half, but so who is this? This is Cache. And it's not Cache like the C A C H E store, it is C H. C A C H E T. And I'm trying to see a size. Large. But it's a very pretty set. If you wear sets, I don't. And these are actually not a skirt, these are culottes. So see the pants? Yeah. Culottes. Culottes. Oh, okay. So I think this might have to be listed. Some of these. B. Mikowski and those things. So trash. Let's see. I won't go through all of this, obviously, but I'm just trying to show you the kind of stuff you get out of this. This says, what does that say? It's so tiny. Maybe they can tell us. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't know. Tip pen, tape measure. I'm sorry. Tape. <laughs> I was like trying to read it because it's all run together. But this is very cool looking. It's um, kind of a modern pattern, and it's just a sheath dress, and it's probably super summer light because you can see through it. I mean, I don't know if you can, but yeah, this would be perfect to just throw on and go out for drinks. Okay, so let's do this. Let's take a little break. We'll move the stuff around so it's easier for you to get to, and we'll come right back. Okay. See ya. Hello YouTube, it's me again. So we situated some of this stuff around so I can get to it easier. But I wanted to show you these. Um, let's start over here. Man. This is crazy. I am not even sure what these are. Um, let's see. Kanji Premium 4234. They are very crazy looking. Look at this. It's got embroidered pockets, oriental writing down the side. Kanji to me is Japanese, so get these out. Mm -hmm. Cool. And also in the front. Whoop. Trying to show some. Okay. That's kind of neat. Uh, this is. <laughs> Marie Francois Jabot, which of course was very popular in the 80s. And these have, I don't know what this is, FG plus FG. So, Marie Francois Jabot. And this is a size 38M. So I guess it's men's. That's a Nike right there. Is it? That black uh, switcher. These are really cool. Look at these things. Huh. Okay. Uh, this is a Nike? No. Mm -hmm. Oh. This is not. Is it? Oh, yeah. Nike. Okay. That's a different symbol I've ever seen. Okay, so this is a Nike jacket. And it's it's unusual. This um L... Two, three, XXL, made in Indonesia. It is a zip up and it's got this shadow stripe in it. Um, not real sure what this is, but it's kind of neat. This is a formal dress. Oh man, we got hangers here. Okay, so let's see. This is an Adriana Patel. It is a size 14 and again, and again always uh, very dressy Adriana Papel. Okay. I'm just 
kind of going through these a little bit. I have so much to go through, but I'm trying to show you some good stuff. Um, this is wrapped up in this. Ugh. Hangers. The bane of my existence is hangers. Okay, this is another cache dress, and it is a size 14, and I will pull this out. This is a pantsuit, actually. So, it has got... Yeah, it is a pantsuit. Very pretty. Very dressy. Cat. I gotta throw this stuff over here. And here's another one of these kanji pants. Look at this. Crazy. I've never seen anything like this. But these are all pockets. Look at this. Pocket, pocket, pocket. Mm. Kanji Premium 3834. Wow. Kind of interesting. I'm not going to get into those two dresses because they are velvet. Nobody wants to look at velvet right now. Okay, this is no name. At least the tag is cut out. Kind of cute though, you know, <laughs> for summer. This is a Larry Levine, because I just picked it up and put it on top. Larry Levine Sport. It is a very pale green jacket, like a windbreaker kind of thing. And I'm trying to find a tag, which I'm not seeing. Oh, there it is. Always down here on the inside. Doesn't that mean it's a woman's one? It's a large one. When the tag's down there? I don't know. Is that how it works? I don't know. I just always seem to find them down in the in the inside, you know, like here. Oh, more shoes. shoes! Okay, these are Villager by Liz Claiborne. Um, here's the pair. They are very bright purple, pet lilac, I should say. Look brand new. I mean, maybe one once. Yeah. So, yard sale probably. Who have we got here? This is J. Crew. Pair of flats, not bad. Size 11. Uh, these are Gianni Beanie, and these are rubberized soles and a very small heel, and these do not even look worn. Maybe a little dirty on the bottoms, but very pretty for summer. Silver, Gianni Beanie. Oh, uh, we can get that. Okay, so who's this? This is Nine West, and it looks a little dirty, so it will go in the yard sale. What is this? Cole Haan. Nice little pair of flats. I think there's just uh, little wrinkles, but Cole Haan. <coughs> oh my goodness, what is that? It's huge. Okay, so... Um... Simply Vera, which I think you can get at Target. Simply Vera Wang. Nice big bag, though. I feel like just carrying a bunch of stuff around. Okay. This looks like, let's see. Cole Haan. No, Gianni, Bini, Ber Gianni Bernini. Hmm. Navy blue, horse bit detailing on it. You can take the, the chain off. So, yeah. Kind of cute. This is genuine suede trim. This is... Um, looks like a new one. Another small little... Ooh, that's no, no bueno. That's burned or something. So, for that. Okay, so we have got DKNY. Suede. Oh, they Brand don't even new. look good. They don't even look. I didn't know there was more shoes in here. Yeah, there's some over there too. I saw them. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, most of the ones we already did were in boxes. My so. purse. <laughs> My straw in the bag. I don't know. That's amazing. But yeah, this is the kind of stuff we find. So, this is a Rachel Zoe. Is that good? Um, I'm not sure, but I've seen the name a lot. 
cute. And this unzips, and you can even put more stuff in the middle here, and then it folds over and flat. Mm. So, wow. Big bag. Capable of carrying a lot. All right, so we got over here. Okay. I don't know what this is. Let's see. It's kind of cool. Skirt. It is a like beach cover. So it goes. So this is like a beach sarong thingy. Um, these are inside out. So. Uh, these are Cache, the original Cache store, C-A-C-H-E, jeans, look brand new, and no alterations to the inseam. Pretty jeans. Hmm. And they are still very dark, so they were not used very often. This is a size 14. More shoes. Okay. We have a pair of Seychelles. Say what? Seychelles. Say what? Really pretty in in interior. But they are a silver and they have a block heel. And, you know, they've been worn. But they're size 11. So I would say yard sale. Uh, let's see. J. Renee. I'm not sure. I think I've seen this name. But again, they're kind of goldish, gold interior, size 11, M. Again, looks like it's worn once because look, you can still see the, um, you know, the logo or whatever on the bottom. And no dirt whatsoever on the end here. I mean, you can still see the cross hatching in the heel, the tap. So, not used much. Oh, this stuff. Hey, tags. $29.99. Well, that's red tag, but this looks like a skirt. And it is made by. Sorry. S5A, Sex with Avenue, size 12. Originally $168, and then it was marked down to $99, and then it was finally marked down to $29.99. But again, tag, very new. <clears throat> this looks like another pair of cachets. 14, jet black. This is actually a, a Ponte, I think, knit pant, uh, jean material, I mean, not jean material, but Ponte knit, which stretches, it's very forgiving. And it is thick, so these are probably, you know, winter pants, but mm, size 14, cachet. This is that sarong thing. I'm not sure what this is. I don't think this has a name, honestly. It's just a size 14. No name. Oh, summer. My dress. Um, this, oh. This is linen, and this is got side buttons, and it looks like a slipover dress. It says Sweet Jessie. It is a size large. It's got these beautiful, um, they look like peonies, but they're purple. So I've never seen a purple peony, and it is definitely linen. What are these? Uh, Villager, Liz Claiborne. Um, not so great shape. Yard Sailor Donate. Let's see who are these. These are naturalizer. Let me put these things in here. I don't. I'm not sure they've. Yeah, they have them worn. So these either get a wash or they just go straight into the yard sale, or a wash and the yard sale. Yeah. But look at this. They, I mean, they don't even look like they've been worn. I don't know. I don't know how the soles get like that, and then the rest of the shoe doesn't look warm. BCBG, a uh, little bit, and I don't see a size. Uh, 11B, here's the other one. Eey, there's a little tiny spider in there. That's what you get for storage units. <laughs> okay, so, 
I don't know what else is really worth pulling out here. There's it another, looks like a lot of good skirt. stuff though. It really does. This is a list suit. It is size 14. This won't have any problem selling at a yard sale. Okay. I don't think so. If not, it all gets donated after our yard sales. That What does not sell is donated. We don't hang on to stuff. This is a Kristen Nicole, a size large. And this is a maxi dress for summer. Okay, so I'm just trying to pull out some things that are kind of bright and neat. Okay, who is this? This looks like a sleep dress. Um, Jane Ashley. Never heard of it. It's a t-shirt material. Again, just some popover dress. This one has pockets, I think. Yep, pockets. Very cute. Little jewels on it. So, as you can see, I mean, this is the kind of stuff you find in storage units. Sometimes you find good stuff, and sometimes you find some not-so-good stuff. This is Talbot's, size 14. Pocket. Got pockets? Uh-huh. Okay. Pocket right here. And, yeah, just a, a tank dress. Uh, what is this? This is Studio by Donatella. And I don't know if that's Donatella Versace or it's just Donatella. That's the name. Another just, okay. this is probably not meant to be a maxi, honestly. Um, this is a size large, but on me, of course it would be a maxi because I'm four foot 11 or 10 and a half. I keep shrinking. So what is this? Liz Claiborne, it is a wrap shirt. That's cool. And it actually has a pin in it, but I used to always live in these wrap shirts because they were just so easy to put on. And you just put them over a skirt or jeans or whatever. Okay, oh, I didn't tell you what size that was. Let's see, that is a large. Okay. This is an Anne Marino shoe. Hmm. Discoloration here where the toes are, so that's probably a yard sale item, and there goes everything off the table. So anyway, I just wanted to show you some of the stuff that came out of the storage unit, and we will keep doing this. If I find some great stuff, I'm going to set it aside, and I'll do another video on more of uh, great finds from this storage unit. Meanwhile, we... Uh, actually just one how many shoes another pallet of 74 okay so from that same um, and you got that one for also 300 okay so, so 74 pairs of shoes coming in yeah. and I will have to show you those when they come so um, with that I am going to say good evening and great to see you all again I hope you all are safe and that your families are doing well and are staying healthy and please stay home. Um, love ya and bye bye.